that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy. Everyone's having a good, good time. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. The time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. No, it's the time of year. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am getting ready to make some loaded baked potato soup. So I just have some potatoes in here and an onion, and I'm going to add some turkey broth if I can open it. There we go. I have two quarts that I'm going to add in here. Maybe I'll just do one and a little bit of water. So we'll just do one and some water for now and some seasonings. So um, we're gonna have this for dinner. I'm gonna make some French bread to go with it, but also I'm gonna make some chicken and some noodles, I think, because we have kiddos and adults that don't <laughs> like soup. Um, so I'm kind of gonna make both. And I'm thinking that the chicken, I'm gonna make like homemade chicken tenders, I think. And so whatever's <laughs> left of that will be perfect for lunch tomorrow. So I'm kind of like, cooking two tonight, but a little bit of both tonight, but the extras are going to be lunch tomorrow. So two meals tonight, but it's for two overall meals. So um, it just works out that way and it pleases everybody. So here's the soup. So I, like I said, I have the turkey broth, the potatoes, onion. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Later I'll add like some milk and some cheese or sour cream or something. Um, some pepper and some salt. And that's all I'm going to add right now. Just let it cook. I'm just going to put it on low. So I'm just going to put it on low. So I'm going to get some French bread going. Um, I'm just going to make the dough in the bread machine. So I have two cups of water in here. We're going to do five tablespoons of oil. It's my very professional way of measuring. Um, three tablespoons of sugar. teaspoon of salt, six cups of flour, and one and a third a tablespoon of yeast. And we're just going to put this on the dough cycle. So I got the dough going in the bread machine. I just made some egg rolls in the air fryer just because trying to come up with things to eat. And then the kids asked for some grilled cheese. So today's lunch is grilled cheese and egg rolls. So here's lunch today, and they've been snacking on fruits and veggies all morning, so I'm not even going to put it on their plate because they've been just eating oranges and apples and cucumbers and things like that, and peppers. Okay, so we're going to eat lunch and do our Christmas unit. So we just finished up with school, and now I'm sitting here editing a video, so of course Ember came over and cuddled up right with me. My winter wonderland is the time of year, my winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. Oh, my winter wonderland. Oh, my winter wonderland. So I just came down 
downstairs to kind of glance and dig through our freezers to see what we're going to have over the next week. So I did write some ideas down off of things that I know are in the freezer now, but there's also things at the bottom of the freezer that you don't really know until you move the stuff on the top. So yes, we do rotate our food. And when I grocery shop, um, I try to put new things down, but I am also not the only one in the house that puts groceries away. So lots of times, um, children will help put things away and they aren't as, even though they're told, they aren't as aware, especially younger ones, that they do have to kind of rotate through food. So every now and then, I will have to dig to the bottom of the freezers because, I mean, even I'm guilty of it. There are some times when we come home and I don't have the time to sit down here and do that because I've got kiddos running around upstairs or like something is going on. Although I try, you know, 90% of the time to actually do it. I'm just as guilty of sometimes not being able to in the moment. So um, there are things at the bottom of the freezer that do need to be used up before things at the top of the freezer, but um, not much because we do rotate through. So uh, I'm down here trying to see what I can unearth from the bottom of the freezers. So I just brought up some very random things. I had some onions down there I needed to bring up. So I brought those up. I emptied these into the freezer. So this is just a bag of trash. And then I brought up some salmon, some corn dogs, some hot dog buns that were down there, and some brats. I figured I could do that for lunch for the kids. And then just some sausages that I found down there um, because they were in this basket. And I wanted to use this basket to bring up this stuff. So I just figured I'd bring all that up. And then I found an entire box of corn dogs at the very bottom, like hidden under everything. So Wilder is very, very happy. Like, how could you miss a box this big? It's because it was laying flat on the bottom under everything. So I baked the French bread on 375 for, it says 20 to 25 minutes. I did 23 and it looks like it came out really good. So I'm gonna take this off and immersion blend it up. So now I'm gonna add some milk some cream cheese. I'm not following a recipe for this at all. I'm just kind of winging it and throwing things in. Some cheddar cheese. And some bacon bits. And I'm just gonna let this keep on cooking for a little bit. So I just cut up some chicken breast and I just cut them into little tiny pieces so I can make some chicken tenders. And then over here I have two eggs and a little bit of milk that I just whisked together. And in here I'm gonna put breadcrumbs. So, oh my gosh. I only have a little bit of regular, like that. I think I do have a new one downstairs that I just got, but I don't wanna go down there right now. So um, I have these up here. So we're just gonna do a mixture of regular and panko breadcrumbs. The panko is going to be better anyway, so. So I wanted to use um, a couple different seasonings and everything has dairy in it. So I'm not going to use any of them. I'm just going to do like basic seasonings. That way um, Miss Layla can have them. So we're going to do salt and pepper in here. And then let's do some smoked paprika. Do I even have any left? A little bit. Some garlic powder. Some onion powder. I don't know, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all we'll do. So just turn the oven on 400. I'm just gonna bake these in the oven. So let's set up a station here. So I'll just take them and put them in here. Put them on here. Very simple. And I'm going to bake at 400 for about 15 20 minutes. Probably only 15 because I cut these pretty small.
So I got those in the oven and now I'm gonna boil some water so I can make some noodles and then um, just heating them some corn. So it'll be chicken, corn, and noodles or soup and bread or all of it, any of it, all of it, whatever people wanna eat. And whatever's left makes for a very quick lunch tomorrow. So here's our chicken nuggets. All of dinner is ready now, our chicken tenders, whatever you wanna call them, corn. The noodles, so I don't have anything in them right now besides Layla's butter and some salt, but for everyone else, I'm gonna add Parmesan cheese if they want that. And then we have our soup and some breads. So here's our soup and I'll show you a picture of a plate in a minute. And here is the other set of dinner for the night. Okay guys, animals fed, kitchen clean, floor swept, and we're getting kids ready to do it all over again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you then. Bye. Thank you.